You're watching Industry Insider with the So Systems. And this week, we are focusing on how SMEs and startups can navigate the bumpy ride. Next, we will learn how Integra Systems of Australia managed to turn adversity into an opportunity. Integra Systems plays an important role in the Australian manufacturing industry as a contract designer and manufacturer helping many businesses to innovate. Integra invested in an industry 4.0 inspired solution and relied on the So System SolidWorks to make things work. Right now, Paul Hughes, the founder and managing director of Integra Systems is joining us from Melbourne, Australia. Well, first, uh, can you tell me what the state of Australian manufacturing sector is at the moment? Yes, I feel the Australian manufacturing industry has gone through some massive changes. One has been instigated by the closure of the automotive. During that period, um, manufacturers really adopted a lot of high-tech machine tools to increase the quality of their product and uh, pr make product in a more automated way. Now with um, COVID coming along, I see a, a, a far more greater need for accelerated change. And with supply chains out of China largely broken down, uh, uh, companies are, are requiring Australian manufacturers to be able to manufacture in small to medium batches and also rapidly develop product and increment um, new product to adapt to market trends in a really agile way. I think this is really only the tip of the iceberg of what is about to come for those companies who have not only embraced high-tech ma machinery, but also embraced the, the, the CAD tools required to design and to drive product through their manufacturing. Paul, what sort of challenges did Integra face and what did you do to turn the current crisis into an opportunity? Yes, as a, as a design-based manufacturer, we've always, one of the greatest challenges has been how to recoup design over relatively small production runs. We've always had the opinion that, that if we spend more on design at the front end, things will flow through the factory in the simplest possible way and will enable us to incrementally improve uh, our products for, for customers along the way. We've always, we've always sat in the small to medium uh, batch size production and we've never been exposed to the high volume of the automotive industry which I suppose in, in some ways has really had us swimming against the stream. But I, but I really feel now that um, those companies that uh, through the COVID crisis have, have, are bringing their supply chains back to Australia, they're really seeing the importance in design and spending more money up front for greater savings down the track. And in our, um, in our manufacturing, so we're our, I suppose a real key to what we do is getting from design through to a finished product in the shortest period, in the shortest possible way with the least amount of documentation. So we're really embracing industry four techniques and we've developed a new um, in-house um, kiosk system where our designs go straight from um, straight from effectively the the CAD, the drawing board, to production. We have we've no longer got paper drawings. We've got touchscreen terminals with um, 3D. Uh, the operators have access to all the 3D images, which feeds into our ERP system, our real time machine monitoring. And our um, and our quality system to give a complete, agile, um, seamless approach to design and manufacture. So, at which point did you realize, Paul, that there is an opportunity that uh, can be seized? Yes, I, I think uh, when the automotive closed down in Australia, there was more opportunities for comp companies who had embraced uh, design through to manufacture in the, in the real small to medium uh, manufacturing space. 
But I think the greatest opportunity came where people realised how much they were exposed to um, offshore or greater control from uh, companies offshore such as China, um, not only for their, for their manufacturing, but also in terms of their, of their IP. So I re we really realised as a company that um, we could be seen or could really become a safe house for Australian um, companies, if you like, where they can get their design and manufacturing done under the one roof knowing that their IP is protected and not only protected, it can be incrementally improved at a, or, or um, changed at a, at a far greater rate than in the past where they had, a lot of companies had the model where their design was done in a high cost country such as Australia. The manufacturing was done in the lowest cost country possible. Well, that model uh, I believe is largely a failed model and I think by embracing um, the, the latest technologies in manufacturing and also design, we're really, there's, there's huge opportunities there for, for Australian companies to um, yeah, offer that as a complete service to, to, to companies. Are you anticipating any new business models? And Paul, how is Integra responding now to the new normal? Yes, our business model uh, really won't be changing. Um, our business model has always been design and make. Uh, and I think that's been really more sought after with our customers. And I really feel that the, the current uh, climate is, a, is really giving us more choice in terms of the customers who... Um, we we want we we got more choice over who we work with, and we're not required to take on a job from any customer who who wants to give us a, an order. We we basically we can, you know, because we've always been design focused. We see the the upfront design as really a, a lot of fun, and we we, we want to work with it with customers who are really fun to work with and really value that design through to manufacture. We're not, um, we've never been short term people or, or involved in, you know, really looking for the transactional sort of relationships. So we understand that there will be companies who see the current climate as a bit of a blip in the supply chain and are looking for Australian manufacturers possibly to fill the gap before they return to an offshore supply chain, but we're really, we do think there's going to be a, a big change in, in people's attitudes and companies really valuing that um, in-house design and, and manufacture. Um, with Integra, we've really focused over a long period of time to foster our, our um, culture and a culture that's true to our values. Um, with our team, we've, We've got a really good uh, platform, IT platform that enables people to work remotely using all the latest industry 4.0 um, uh, technology. We can monitor machine tech, uh, productivity from home. We can log into our uh, ERP system, which is cloud-based. We can um, get into all our, uh, our complete drawing um, uh, portfolio. So we've, we've got all the tools to, to work remotely, but we really feel that the best results are achieved by everyone coming together into the, in, in the one place and um, where our culture and our values can show through and we can provide our customers with the, with the absolute um, best results. Great words of advice there, Paul. That's Paul Hughes, a founder and managing director of Integra Systems of Australia.